these uh, concrete around this uh, chimney crown is actually crack open. So I'm going to try to seal these in with uh, this quick and seal. Seal. Cement actually crack open. And I uh, just slightly tap it uh, from underneath the, the cracks. And then the thing just, uh, the cement just broke off. And that's why I'm getting, sipping down into the uh, house, destroy my drywall. So that's what I'm going to be seeing these. Uh, fix these compound or the uh, motor joints see this one here too uh, to patch up a few of these um, this is, uh, this is this uh, C-Car Pro motor mix from Home Depot okay so, hopefully this will bounce and stop the uh, cracking, or leaking, water leaking, from leaking down from chimney. And I'm also going to use this uh, sealant, the GOCL 2300 construction sealant, to hopefully um, seal around the crack, the cement crack, and stop the water from coming down from the chimney. This is the um, cement and glue gun. I'm just going to cut open these um, mounts and then uh, put it in this thing and then apply it. Fix it once. So, motor fix. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so the way to cut this is in an angle like this. Hopefully, that is plenty. Now the next thing you want to do is you put it into this thing, like so. And then you start to uh, push this down. Push this, uh, turn this thing kind of, uh, now kind of clockwise until it's tight. And then you pull the trigger. So that's what I'm doing here. These uh, uh, Sika motor fix. It looks not that great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use I'm going to use this uh, this uh, chisel, party chisel, to you know apply uh, the motor uh, firmly into the cracks. So hopefully that addresses the water leaking problem around this chimney. Okay, I applied the potty knife, as you can see here. It looks uh, pretty good. So I'm going to try to uh, apply some over there with my uh, waterproof caulking around this uh, thing and then hopefully be done with it. Um, well, actually, while I'm at it, I see some uh, cracking vertical cracking uh, between the bricks so I'm just going to fill these using that motor fix you know like here you know here here you know this thing is cracking up too you know, and 
here, here, maybe here, here. That doesn't look that bad. So overall, this thing is still um, fucking good. And I'm gonna apply some over here, over here, and certainly in between here and this crack here, and reinforce, uh, reinforce the cement and the chimney crown and this one looks pretty good There's, it doesn't appear to be any uh, leak but while I'm at it may as well just uh, try to scrape this clean and then apply uh, that cement uh, silk around it just to just for the heck of it um, chimney still looks very good. You know, so that's what I'm doing here. Over here. Over here. You know, and the uh, roofing company actually wanted to charge. Um, I actually they wanted to redo this. And the motor fixes um, of, the, of this chimney they charge $1,500 when it's really just, you know, a couple of hours, um, you know, maybe half an hour and cement uh, mix, and you can do it, certainly I can do it myself, you know, just like what I did here. So let me show you what I'm doing. It's really easy. Just apply this uh, thing, as you can see there, and and that does it. That fills the crack, you know? Not trying to be pretty, just trying to be sealing the crack, you know? So that water don't go in, you know? And if it is, I probably should chip open that, but you know, I ain't gonna bother. Just gonna, I'm gonna use, use my potty knife to push these in there. You see that? And that's it, that's all there is. They're gonna charge me several thousand dollars just to fix the motor joint, you know? May as well just go to Home Depot and buy these, you know, things, seven dollars each two, and then fill the crack itself. You know, there's a little bit of uh, crack there. That's a poor preparation. You need, you don't want that. That's not gonna stick. You know. I know I didn't do a good job in preparing this, uh, you know, but now I know the material. I'll just, you know, come back here and watch it. If it leaks again, I'll come back here, and redo it, you know, just uh, to make sure it doesn't leak, you know, so that's all there is, just to seal the crack. I'm not trying to be pretty. Just trying to waterproof this, you know, this chimney.